welcome back. I am still waiting for my VSG approval. So everything is in with my insurance and I'm just waiting uh, for them to approve it so I can get a surgery date and get going on the other uh, preoperative things. So in the meantime, we're gonna talk about lipedema. Lipedema, I did not say lymphedema, I said lipedema. So the two are often confused. I never heard of lipedema until uh, this past week. Um, I went in to, so first off, lipedema is a fat storage disorder. Is that what they call it? Fat storage disorder. Um, and often what it does is affects the lower half of your body. So if someone has like um, really chunky thighs, like, and then chunky calves, and I guess even your foot can get chunky at some point, depending on what stage. There are like, I believe, three stages to this. Um, and it can get really crazy. Um, and it can also cause like a fat apron. So that part of your stomach, um, the front part of your stomach can hang a little bit. It just starts from the lower, lower part of your body, basically like from your hips down. Um, I didn't know about it. I always knew about lymphedema, which I thought I had a little bit of because um, my calves have been huge from the jump. Like I, they say that li lipedema starts in puberty and it only really affects women, um, which is kind of interesting because I, I remember being little, younger, elementary school with these big old calves. And uh, I, I wasn't, I mean, I've always been overweight, but it was weird. Um, so it's often, just seen as like obesity like people just look at it as oh that's just fat like um but it's not it's actually a fat storage disorder who would have thought right um so the more that uh this nurse practitioner explained this to me the more i realized that this seems to be really what's going on with me so um i went to see my vein doctor to get my checkups my doctor was on vacation ended up seeing a nurse practitioner um, and she kind of got under my skin a little bit because although she talked to me about lipedema, she was saying, you know, lipedema is seen to not really be effective even if with weight loss surgery. Um, she was like, you know, so you, she was like, you're already kind of small on top and she was like, you don't want to like, you lose that weight and then you're like not balanced. And I'm kind of just looking at her like, weight loss in general is a step in the right direction for somebody of my height at my weight. So put that aside um we also talked about she also mentioned you know um then you'd have to deal with loose skin and whatnot and once again I felt like I was getting somebody's opinion on weight loss surgery so anyway we talked about lipedema there really is no cure to this which sucks um there are three stages like we talked about um the third stage can you can really be at a point where you can't walk honestly um it hurts to walk you have a heaviness in your legs you can't walk for very long before they start to feel pretty heavy um i don't know exactly what stage i would be at maybe a stage two to be honest because i've had that that uh you look like you don't have a kneecap basically and i've had that for quite some time like the fat just collects around that that joint area um and it makes a lot of sense like I never understood why my calves were not like normal you can see really big people overweight people with like regular looking legs um I don't have that my weight's always been dispersed but my lower half is rather large so um I've seen some people successfully lose quite a bit of weight and you can tell they have lipedema because they still got those huge um, thighs and huge calves and their ankles look a little bigger um, so I looked into since there's supposedly no cure for this but there is a procedure um, and it's rather new still but it's lipedema liposuction um, so that would be something I might look into you know if I don't see much of a difference after surgery I still want to do surgery I still think that's the right step for me um, and it would, I mean, I don't understand how it wouldn't alleviate a little bit of pain, like, from heaviness in the legs. Like, that's less weight you're carrying around. So I don't necessarily agree. 
um, with back out from surgery just because supposedly it won't do anything for the lower half. Um, I think that's kind of BS. I've seen some people with lipedema um, in the weight loss journey and you'd at least lose, you know, you can lose some of the fat, but you may not lose the stored fat from lipedema, but you'd still be cutting away some fat. So that's what we have coming up. And I looked at the procedures and unfortunately it seems like if you have lipedema, like insurance doesn't really want to mess with you. Like they don't really look at it as something that you have to do for your health. It looks like they don't cover very much. Now I hope things change as the years progress because it looks like they, they're still learning about lipedema. They don't know how you get it. Um, it looks like it starts at puberty for women and it affects women. Um, and they don't really seem to know much. Like there's there's no cure for it. The, the treatments that they have are like wear compression, um, dry brushing. I do want to try dry brushing. I've seen that that's effective. Breathe deeply. This says, oh, improve lymphatic flow. Okay. Um, I think one thing that would really help is going back to hot yoga because I did that and I saw a reduction, but then again, you don't know if you're losing regular fat in your legs or lipedema fat because apparently lipedema fat is there to stay. Um, it needs to be sucked out. So, um, just thought this was interesting to bring up because most people only heard of lymphedema. And, um, when people say lipedema, people still like to correct you and be like, oh, you're talking about lymphedema? And you're like, no, there's two different things. So, um, just a heads up for anybody, you know, maybe you've noticed this in your own body, um, and didn't know of this, uh, fat storage disorder. So, there's that. I will still proceed with surgery and, you know, if it looks like I need to seek out a surgeon for liposuction, lipode for lipedema, then that's what we'll have to do. And guess we're going to have to save some money up for that too because insurance don't want to mess with you. It's so messed up. Like, you can't help it if you got lipedema. What the heck? But anyway... Thanks for listening. Thanks for everybody who subscribed and is following my journey. Just want to give you an update. I know I, I wanted to be consistent. And although I didn't have much movement in the past couple weeks, we are just playing a waiting game um, any day now for my approval. And then I'll update you all as soon as I get that approval. Trust me, I will let you all know. Um, and check out lipedema. If, you, if these symptoms, you got some heaviness, you got some big legs, big thighs, Nothing seems to work for them. Maybe you've had it since uh, early childhood, which I, I did for sure. Uh, take a look at this. I don't know. It's can't believe I didn't know about it. So I will also put my Instagram in the description box so you all can see. I post full body pics on my Instagram. I'm not shy to do that. Um, love you no matter what stage you're at. Um, but check it out and you can see what I'm talking about. I think I have a few photos where you can see, you should be able to see how big the thighs are and the calves and what have you. And lymphedema, lipedema, sorry, I did it. I did it. Lipedema also can affect your arms. So there's different phases for your arms too. I don't really know if I would say I'm affected. I don't really think so um, up here, but I don't know. I wouldn't know what to look for really um so i have full body pics there on the instagram check that out um thank you for subscribing and following i um want to stay consistent keep posting letting you guys know what's going on and uh share with you my process and if anybody has things they can relate to this please comment below if you have lipedema um maybe you have some things that you do for your uh, lipedema that you know would be helpful I would like to try um, but thank you for sharing and I will update you all on the next video bye